I met Ursula while my husband and I were in Friesland in January of 2018 for the Stallion Show. After the show, we went and visited Barnes, and Ursula had reached out and grabbed my coat as I walked by her stall, and I knew then that we were meant to be together. There she is. <laughs> I imported her later that summer and she came to Tennessee and joined us at Renaissance Frisians. I love this little mare with all my heart. She makes me so happy and the bond that we have is like no other. <laughs> Ursula has been away in training since December of 2020. I took her up to LaPorte, Indiana where she was to be trick trained. In the summer of 2021, Kai and I spoke about him starting to prep her and condition her for a KFPS inspection that was being held in fall of 2021. That inspection was later canceled, but I kept her in training in hopes that in February of 2022, the KFPS would be back to do another inspection. Ursul was also bred in July of 2021, and we expect a beautiful Minta 494 from her in June of 2022.
it is very hard to be away from her for so long. But every time we get to see her, she's happy and she's in great condition. And I know that she is being well taken care of. <laughs> Does that feel good? <laughs> We were so excited to see Ursula again that it didn't even bother us that we were leaving 70 degree weather in Tennessee to go up to Shipshawana, Indiana where it was snowing. We made it to the event center on Thursday afternoon. It was the day before Ursa was going to be inspected. Once we arrived at the event center, we had to go see her because it had been so long. The KFPS is the Dutch Frisian Horse Registry. It's located in the Netherlands. Every year, Frisian horses are inspected for the stud book. There was over a hundred entries and I can remember walking through the halls looking for her and asking each other where's Ursul where's Ursul and at some point she heard us after we passed her stall and turned to let us know hey I'm right here I hear you Like, what's over there? While we were visiting the stallions at the Mech, we had to swing by and see Thorbin 466. We're expecting a full out of one of our mares in March of 2022. When the girls went into his stall, he was eating, but stopped for a minute to let the girls love on him. He was kind and gentle and really enjoyed their attention. Waking up early Friday morning, I was so nervous. I kept thinking, what if she's distracted? What if she doesn't move? All the what ifs. In reality, I knew in my heart that she had what it took to make Star. The night before the inspection, I didn't sleep well. I was afraid that Ursa would be distracted and that she just would not show to the best of her ability. That's right. Stay in the zone, Ursa. In the zone. My eyes, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Watching how Lisa and Kai handle Ursul and how calm she is makes me confident that she is happy. She enjoys 
Kai and Lisa and is comfortable with them. Kai had some of his runner friends come from the Netherlands to help him present all his horses. Having an experienced runner for Ursel was what was important to me. I feel like it brings out the best in her movement. I cried happy tears in front of everybody because I was so excited about her accomplishment. We get to go see Ursel now. The walk back to the stall to see Ursel after her inspection was the happiest that I've been in a long time, but it took a little longer to get there. Everybody was stopping and congratulating me. Everybody was cheering Ursel on. This Frisian family has been absolutely wonderful. I'm glad the girls were able to join me on this trip. We've made lots of memories and have a lot to celebrate. I love my little mare. Now that the inspection is over, Ursa will be coming home soon. <laughs>